Okay, this video may look like it's going to be an epic fail or it could be an epic win in the way I'm actually just going to be speaking in my videos. Do you remember I showed you this team up trading card game booster random bag five pack product? It was actually amazing and it was also a very batch full and common product. But you've also noticed that, do you also remember that I actually did a video about the Harbour Seal with Ball 5 pack, which cost around £16. And there's also a product here, which was a very early Christmas product, and it's a £25 Merry Christmas, or should I say, Merry Fishmas Colours 12 pack. Looks very cool, isn't it? It comes with 12 fish in 3 or 4 different colour versions. I think it was 3, not 4. Yes, it says, um... Yes, I'm pretty sure it all comes in Christmas colours. You've got white, you've got red and green. That's what it says, they're green and red. But in this video, we're not going to be taking a look at these toys again. We're actually going to be looking at... Look at this product here! I'm actually not going to yell at this one here. It's the Team Up Booster Random Bags 12-pack. We have a very astonishing price of £27. And yes, this product is touted as a summer edition product. So yes, this is no spring chicken of a flip-flap product. It's very bulky for the fact there's loads of booster packs inside here. And I hope that this product should hopefully be amazing. Look, you can see Volpix. Wait, did I say Volpix? Yes, I did say Volpix. You've got Psyduck, you've got a black-headed girl, you've got Nine Tails, and you've also got a Charizard. That is actually um, <laughs> pretty amazing. So I might probably hang the camera somewhere, and I think with this very, uh, what would you say, dumb looking stand of an iPad, I'm just going to place it next to the fan. But I'm actually just going to basically do it right there, while I normally do my toy views like I did in the past, which I think it was like the first time I did it was December 2018, with the White Stalk product. But anyways, let's go and see what we've got. Wait, did I just touch the speakers in that product? I think I did. Uh, let's just have a go, eh? see how this product works. And yes, it might be ultimately boring. Maybe I should do a time lapse in this video. I'll try and capture this. I'm just going to do it as fast as I can. Seeing all these booster packs here. And I might tell you everything about or anything that has been happening around throughout last week and also this week as well. Into the cooler weather in the United Kingdom, so. And um, yes, we had a very hot summer. Uh, we had an actual, I could tell you guys, right? let me just take all these cards first. Lugia Dragon, Giant Hornet, Wasp Larvae, Hecalong Dragon, Mini Long Dragon, Dragonite, Return Label, Fire Unicorn, Electrified Hammer Cop, Charmeleon, Charlie Zardon, Kitsune Jr., that's what someone says, Adult Kitsune Fox, Slavic Phoenix, I'm pretty sure there's Kitsune Jr. as well, Charlie Zardon, oh we're getting duplicates of the same card, Fire Horse, and we've got a Run for Source EX card. That was one of the most common ones indeed. Yeah, I bet summertime has been a very, very huge exception sort of day. Because I can tell you guys, I, if you remember, if you look at it this way, I think we had a very hot summer. We had an exceptional heat wave. Last year was like loads of days with hot days. But this year, we had four days or four or five days with normal heat. Like we always do in a typical heat wave. Or should I say, like it normally does. A typical heat wave, you know, it lasts for around four to five days. And um, I think there was one point in the UK where it actually beaten the heat flow temperature, which recorded 36.7 degrees Celsius in 2015. So it was like four years ago it beaten that record. It was like 37.9 degrees Celsius in the same place, but later in Cambridge, I think it was either like 38.1 degrees Celsius or 38.7 degrees Celsius. There's a bit of a debate whether it has beaten the record temperature in the UK being Favism in Kent with a recorded hot temperature of Favism in Kent I've already seen that one card here yeah, what I'm saying is, is the Ramphosaurus EX card eh? we had 38.5 degrees Celsius back in 10th I think it was the 10th of August of 2003 as I'm actually making this video but not actually <laughs> not well, actually, the, 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 well, what I'm actually saying is, is that the day I'm making is actually Sunday the 28th of July 2019. So we're coming up, we've already went into our summer holidays and it's now starting. But the pressure on just making these videos in the summer holidays is how many videos am I just going to be making? Am I just going to be only making, you know, one or two videos? 
You know, I've only uploaded an animated video, just recently of course, and um, I might show it to you just after you've um, watched this video of course. I would say, I suppose I, I'm just trying to make words. Oh, there's a Lock and Dusk EX card. We're going to be excited with EXs. Otherwise, the YouTubers will be totally um, getting a bit of a face palm on that, saying, Oh, you didn't show us the EX cards. Why are you not excited? Blah, 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 blah. But, you know, as I'm saying in this video, uh, the part of life is, is that i got to do everything and anything. Okay? You have to see everything in my videos because if you don't see everything on my YouTube videos well, life just gets hard, doesn't it, eh? And this booster pack is very hard indeed though and uh, we're coming up towards our autumn time which is literally just two months time and uh, we might be also be heading back to school of course though because I think as we head back to school the weather gets cooler and cooler but that's not always the point, isn't it? We always get hot in the well, I'm actually saying is that we often get you know, hot Indian summers. No EXs in that booster pack. I think, I don't know if that was a cool one. Uh, normally, I think in the summer holidays, uh, flip flap toys tend to soar in numbers. That's the most important thing I have to say, is because summer is considered the busiest season in flip flap toy history. If you all know, it's also the most popular season because everyone loves going outside during a very Hot summer's day? Maybe not. <laughs> Why am I actually just saying that? Maybe the white people living in this country, I think the ethnic origins living in this country, I think that most of these are white people. I'm literally more of a Chinese Asian sort of person because I was born in Malaysia. But my ancestors are from China, so I'm not a Muslim. I'm more of a Buddhist person. I'm more interested into Buddhism. Yep, there's another one for a source EX card. Let me keep the subject in. Um, to be quite honest, my heritage is Malaysian, Chinese Malaysian of course, and that's why I actually love hot water a lot though, but I think southern China does get cooler temperatures, I think, and this sort of boost pack is quite stubborn, so I might probably leave this one already. Anyways, I'm actually just going to say, um, what can I actually say about the way that that reacts with summer? Uh, sometimes, well, Flip Flap doesn't make products that well in the summer, but most of the time their products are very, very popular in the summer because of the presence of hot weather. And what hot weather does is that it also promotes me to make many of the other, you know, cards like these or other things like toys, such as the Flapping Bird toys, yes, the Flapping Bird toys or any other origami toys. And also the flip up vehicles, like the Tomash toys, are also make as well. Oh my goodness me, that envelope is overloading, of course. Um, yes, it's a pretty relaxed country. I'm living here in the United Kingdom, of course. And yes, that's very nice to say, in a sense, though. Uh, it's very peaceful, as I can tell. I can just go ahead and just take a look at what other YouTubers are doing on the site. And it's, you know, it's very interesting, of course, eh? And, um, I don't know what I'm saying, but, you know, I just get a lot of YouTubers. I've actually did subscribe a lot of YouTubers recently, of course, I suppose, I, eh? Just for a long hiatus, of course, I suppose, I. Eh? And going back to the subject of my, um, presence before the school holidays is, during last week, um, what I should have never done was that I've actually, um, spun around because I was too excited for the summer holidays, and then what I've actually ended up was a very... Uh, nasty fever. Man, I should have never danced around during before the summer holidays that started, of course, I. Eh? Oops, did I just show the cards off? There you go, there's the cards here. Cat fed mongoose, that's what we all needed to see, eh? <laughs> Oops, I was actually just showing the EX fast. That was a Magic Cup and Baleen Wow EX card. How weird is that one, eh? Um, um, what I'm actually saying is, is that, you know, what I'm actually probably speaking about is, in reality, what I've actually noticed was that I was actually very sick uh, during the, the summer holidays, just before the summer holidays have started. But I think from Saturday I was actually feeling better. I, I was actually spinning around very, very fast, and yes, I got nauseous, and then I just vomited in the sink. That was disgusting, I tell ya. I was gonna go to the last day of school, 
But I was just like, nah, I'm just going to spin all the way around and I'm just going to be sick because, well, I just feel like maybe I just don't want to see it because... Uh, if you remember, I'm not going to say anything about the blazer phobia thingy, Bob. Maybe it's the way it is, though. Oh, there's another one for a source EX card. Uh, hopefully, maybe this year, September, I won't, you know, maybe from the beginning of September, I won't be seeing any blazers from my friend, of course, maybe. Might be totally wrong, but we'll have to find out. Into the other ones. Ooh, let me just take a look at the third booster pack. And um, the way the packaging is there, actually, is super tight. Ah! Oh my goodness me, eh? After spending so much time just flipping, tearing and busting packagings up, I'm just so excited to go ahead and make videos again. And um, I'm not going to yell out, oh, that's just great. I released all that warm and it's trapped with nowhere to go because I actually just saw my phone without the blazer. <laughs> and the Ofcom's got talent uh, performance there. I think it was named Jamie Taylor. And I did hear about Jamie Taylor. I did see him. And I actually did see him way back in 2012, I think it was September 2012, uh, but I didn't socialise with him. All of these, I think most of these were trainer cards, there's a run for sort of EX card here. Uh, I didn't socialise with him most until he got his um, secondary uniform, I think that the blazer part was the one that really starts to feel a bit uncomfortable with, but that's how British culture is all about, you just have to wear them because it's part of the school uniform. Uh, but nevertheless, you're just going to be leaving it. It is the tree in some hollows, though. You just have to wait until September. I think you'll be going back in... I think most schools start in the 2nd of September this year, I think. I think next year will be like... Um, is it like Monday the 8th? No, I think it's Monday the 7th of September 2020. That's what I'm saying. But I think you'll be going back on, on school on Wednesday the 4th of September because most schools tend to start as early as Monday. Uh, usually a school tends to start on Monday, but I'm not sure I might be totally wrong or correct. I suppose, eh? This is what we have. Some of the other cards I've already seen before. I'm not going to speak about these cards because I've already shown you these in the previous video. Once we've, got, we've got the Ramphosaurus EX cards. What's up with the Ramphosaurus EX cards? Is it the fact they're very common? Or is it the fact they've been printed so much though, in terms of the market and the way they've been produced? Is it like the factory that's been making these? I must have been printing these all around, you know, around at school. Last booster packet. Um, yeah, I think as I'm now going to be swapping um, one topic and another, I'm actually sort of thinking that we're going to literally be saying that uh, over, I've actually just read the news that by, that by 2050, uh, London's going to be as hot as Barcelona, and Birmingham could be as hot as Kuala Lumpur or Paris. That's actually going to be really scary, but it's also fun as well, though, because I do love the hot weather a lot, though. Making sure I'm just going to see the cards at the screen, and also, you guys need to see the cards as well, because if you're not showing the cards, people are going to get really, really... Raged in a sense though. I was going to say the T word, but because YouTube of today has decided, no, nope, we're not going to allow any profanity on the site. I just feel like that's the way it is. And then we've got a Like and Dust Rock EX card. Nearly said Like and Rock, didn't I? <laughs> Actually, nearly said it. Like and Rock, of course, but I did say Like and Dust because it looks like the dust form of Like and Rock from the Pokemon Sun and Moon games, of course. This is one of the most tatty wires I've just repacked card packaging like so. Oh my goodness me, I am I just reviewing toys? Well, you know, in the time when the demonetization bot is there, or is it just me? You know, I just feel like I could just review toys at any time of the year though. It's got a bright open me please sort of reading there. It's a bit tricky to read it though, because the packaging has been um, a bit tampered. And it says open me please there. Anyways, I think that's just about it, eh? Not much to say, but yep, there was a whole bunch of topics being said in this video. And we had a huge mixed bag of looking at all the team-up trading card game codes that were inside in those booster packs. And yes, I'm just glad that this product is a summer edition product. But yes, I just feel like this may or may not be the last time I might be looking at trading card games. But I think it's time for the audience to decide. Are we going to see more of these card products from next year? 
and also the very following months as well as of this year, please leave a comment because I just want to know. But anyways, I think this video has been far too long for YouTube's attention spam data, and I think the problem is, what I'm actually saying is, is that the attention spam data in my channel is chronically low, and it's down around 2 minutes. And I've got a constant problem with some of the other toys that haven't been reviewed for a long time, especially those flamingos there. I might do a 10 reviews in 10 minutes video, like I did in the past two ones, of course, I eh? Like, you know, I could do... One with, you know, the star of Stuart Ashens. You know, Ashens does a lot of videos like these before. Uh, but the problem is I need to probably weed out all the things that nasty people just don't really want to watch videos that long as, as long as two minutes, I would say. Anyways, I think that's just about it in this video. Hopefully I didn't shout out the window, of course, eh? Please give this video a like, subscribe if you can. And as always, thanks for watching and bye for now.